Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see methods of taking out quantities of various items of work. So basically there are two methods of taking out quantities or methods of estimating. First is the long wall and short wall method. This method is also known as PWD or public works department method. And the second method is center line method. So let's see them one by one. So the first method is long wall and short wall method. So as the name says, you have to divide the walls of a particular building according to its length. And remember one thing here, for example, as you can see in the plan here, there are various walls. So if you are taking a wall in particular direction, for example, in this case in this plan particularly the horizontal walls if they are considered as long wall then it is must that vertical wall should be taken as short wall what i am saying if horizontal walls are taken as long walls then it is must that you should take vertical walls as short wall and it's twice and it's vice versa for example if you are taking vertical walls or the walls in y direction as long walls then it is must that you should take horizontal walls or walls in x direction as short walls. Now in this plan particularly as you can see room 1 and room 2 the room 1 is 3.75 meter and room 2 is 3.30 meter and approximately 3 plus 3 6 or 7 7 point something it will be. So 7 point something this is the longest wall if you consider a complete wall of these two rooms in the horizontal direction so there are two such walls so the long walls will be this will be long one long wall one and this will be long wall two in the entry it will be long wall two so this will be two long walls this plan will have two long walls and how many short walls will be there as you can see there are walls of 3.4 in the vertical direction or in the y direction so this three walls of 3.4 see this this and this one they will be considered as or they will be taken as short walls. So this is the simple method you can take or adopt for selecting the walls, short walls and long walls. So now, now let's see what is the procedure of it. First prepare the foundation plan showing the center line with all the dimensions. First you have to prepare the foundation plan that I will explain how you can prepare in the numericals then center to center distance or center to center dimensions are taken out by adding the half width of each wall cross wall to inner dimension of a room for example as you can see the inner dimensions of this room room 1 is 3.75 so if you want to find out the center to center distance of this 3.75 meter wall what you will do you will add half width of wall from left side plus half width of wall from right side so that is the second procedure then now divide the walls into two categories or two groups as i told you you have to divide the walls in two categories or two groups long wall and short wall in plan you can see horizontal walls are called as long walls and vertical walls are called as short walls and it's vice versa as i told you so there will be two walls two long walls in this particular plan and there will be three short walls for a particular plan as shown in the figure here and it is advisable not to change the grouping of walls to avoid the errors from starting to end point from in all the calculations you must take same grouping while calculations so this is the long wall now we have calculated how many long walls are there how many short walls are there let's see the next step then you have to measure the length of long wall for an item by using the formula the formula is long wall length for an item will be length of center line of long wall plus width of item i will tell it this in a very short or uh, simple manner what i will tell you always remember in the long wall length calculation always add the width of item and in short wall length calculation always subtract the width of item for example if you want to find out the length of brickwork so in long wall calculation it will be it will be center to center length of that wall plus width of item that is for example this room one has 3.75 clear width but we want center to center length for calculation of length of long wall so it will be see the formula is length of long wall is 
length of center line wall of long wall plus width of item so length of length of center line will be 3.75 plus half from left side and half width from right side for the brickwork so it will be something for example if uh, the wall thickness is say 0 0.3 so the center to center length of long wall of room 1 will be 3.75 plus 0 0.30 if the wall thickness is of 0 0.30 meter so it comes as 4.05 similarly for room 2 the horizontal distance is 3.30 but it is inner distance if you want to find out center to center distance it will be 3.3 plus 3. Uh, 0 0.30 if the wall thickness is 0 0.30 as we know as we want to calculate center to center distance so it will be 3.60 meter so we have found out the center to center distance you have to just add the width of item for example if you are calculating brickwork so you will add the width of brickwork if you are calculating the quantity of excavation you will add the width of excavation if you are calculating the quantity of say anything uh, masonry ucr masonry in the foundation so you will take the item width particularly that item width for which you calculation for which the calculation is done now we have calculated the long wall length and short wall length the last step is to multiply number length breadth depth to get the total quantity of an item so this is the simple procedure and remember one thing this method is also adopted by state pwd so this is the long wall and short wall method the next method is center line method same pro in the same manner you have to first prepare the foundation plan of a given building then after the foundation plan is prepared you will have to calculate total center line length now what is total center, center line length it will be length of all the short wall and long wall you have to just add all the lengths of long wall and short wall so that you will get the total center line length here i am using what total center line length of the all walls whether it is long wall or short wall what you what it will give you it will give you the total center line length of all the walls and after the calculation of this you have to find out how many number of t junctions are there or junctions of cross walls are there now what is t junction see in the plan here you can see there are two t junctions here in the below plan and in the above plan there is no t junctions as all the junctions junctions mean where the walls are meeting for example in this corner two walls are meeting and the shape can be prepared or shape can be made as l l wall but in the below diagram you can see here there are two t shape walls are there means two t junctions are there so you have to find out number of t junctions first that is corners of building where two walls meet are not taken but where two more than two walls are there then it can be taken for example if two walls are meeting it will not be a t junction it will be l junction so you have to find out number of t junctions in this plan particularly there are two number of t junctions then next step how you can calculate the length of an item so length of an item can be calculated by total center line length minus n into half into width of item now what is n as i told you n is the number of t junctions into half into width of item width of item will be the item which you are calculating so this is the formula for length of an item by center line method how you can find out the length of an item it is total center line length which is the addition of all the center line lengths of all the walls minus n where n is the number of t junctions of cross walls and main walls and multiply by half into width of item so this is the formula now for buildings having different types of walls each set of walls should be taken separately you have to take the separate and at last do the same procedure you have to just multiply number length breadth depth to get the total quantity of an item that is the quantity quantity formula will be what if you are taking the meter cube quantity so the quantity will be length into breadth into depth but you have to also multiply it by numbers so that is the total quantity you will get after all the calculations so this was the video about methods of taking out quantities we have seen long wall and short wall method and center line method thank you